Hey and welcome back. This is another quick ClickSense tutorial. Today what I'm going to teach you is how to use variables here as buttons so that you can change the dimensions or change your measures um, by just clicking on the button instead of instead of having uh, alternative dimensions. Of course you can use alternative dimensions but I think this is much cooler and much easier and as you can see here as I change it the the measures changes automatically so if you're interested in how to do this stick around so uh, first of all, what we want to do is we want to create a variable and let's just say we measure and you want to give it a definition you don't it doesn't matter because the variable is going to change based on your buttons right so let's create this yep so it's created next let's create so we go to custom objects variable input and we insert it here let's go to appearance general we don't really need it so let's go to variable and select the variable that you just created that was we measure and what kind of input do you want to make it buttons um, let's keep it as rows for now and let's say you want to add two different measures so what can you do you can let's say value for the first measure is one and the label is here we have unit price so let's just use that one unit price right and the second button we want to create let's create it as or the second measures that you measure that you want let's put the value as two um, and label as maybe sales you can even add another one let's say three and let's say cogs cost of goods sold yeah so now we have three buttons here and you have labeled them you have given them values one for unit price two for sales three for cogs you need to remember that because over here now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and add it unit price here so let's go into this and instead of unit price you want this to change based on your button so first we will type pick we will use the pick function and what are you picking you're picking the variable and the variable keeps changing based on the button that is one two three so you're picking the variable measure that you just created and when it is one um, if you remember it was unit price so so this pick what it does is picks the value is one so it's going to pick the first value here if it's two it picks the next value so sum of i think it was unit price yeah or the second one would be sum of sales and the third box so that is sum of um, unit cost quantity yeah so we have our three different measures here apply right so now this is unit price if you move this now this becomes sales and if you move this you get cox so even in graphs where you don't have options to add multiple dimensions or multiple measures you could you could use the same same method to change your dimension as well and in, in dimension you could use pick um, but otherwise you could use it as i've used here to change your measures and let's just clean it up a little bit that is by changing the name so you want the name to show um, so let's go to pick label here again based on the measures the first one is cogs no sorry what was it uh unit price right it's a label you need to put it to the 
second one was sales third one was cogs right so apply and yeah so now it's unit price so you see it here sales and this one changes automatically cogs and it changes here if you like it stay tuned for more tricks and tips on click sense and just you know building cool dashboards um, that's something i really love doing i've been doing this for about four years now and i'm in no way a pro but i hope that this kind of yeah this kind of helps you um, stay tuned for more and please like and subscribe cheers